It's your job to fix the network. So at the moment, based on this configuration, it looks like this router has been fixed. Show version again shows us that the configuration register is set to this, which is the way we want it set. So to confirm things, we could do a reload here and verify that the router boots successfully. Okay, so on router one, we've been prompted whether we want to enter the initial configuration dialog. I'm going to say no. Press return to get started. We've been able to get into the router, but there's no configuration. Just a standard default configuration exists on the router. As an example, there are no IP addresses. There are no routing protocols running on the router. Router 2, once again, has booted successfully, so that's good news. Okay, so on router 1, why did it boot and not load the startup configuration? Why did we get prompted with the system configuration dialog or initial configuration dialog? Show version. I'll make this bigger and scroll down. Can you see the problem here? Notice the configuration register is set to 0x2142. That again configures the router to ignore NVRAM. In other words, ignore the startup configuration. So we're going to want to change that. So config register 0x2102. Show version. Currently, this is the configuration register. This will be the configuration register at next reload. Type reload. We definitely don't want to save the running configuration now because otherwise, and I'll just exit out of this, otherwise, we're going to be overriding this startup configuration with this default running configuration, which we definitely don't want to do. So show startup config shows us a full startup configuration, including a configuration for EIGRP. The running configuration doesn't have any of that. We have changed the configuration register to this at next reload. So when we reload, we want to make sure that we enter no here and then press enter to confirm reboot. So the router should boot normally and load the startup configuration into running configuration when it boots up. We can see that it's done that. Notice press return to get started. An EIGRP neighbor relationship has been established to router two. Notice the router name is router one. We have a password, which in this case is Cisco. Show run shows us the configuration of the router. So a configuration has been set. So show IP interface brief. We have an interface up. Interface is down currently to router three. Loopback is up. Loopback of router two is this. I can ping the loopback of router two and router two can ping the loopback of router one. So we've got these two routers restored. Show version. Configuration register is now this. Startup configuration is still there, so that's good. Let's have a look at router three. 